Our great nation, Nigeria, will be independent in two weeks. October 1st, 1960, the lowering of the British Union Jack and the hoisting of the green-white-green flag symbolically marked the attainment of independence in Nigeria. Happy independence! Thursday morning, eve of October 1st, 2021, which happens to be Nigeria's 61st birthday, Sunday, a vulcanizer setting out for the business of the day. A father of four in his thirties was asked what Nigeria's birthday means to him. Ah, Nigeria, that feel come you be come be come go share no about you. Come to buy our own job, our own good job, our own job. From Ike in cooking gas to unstable fuel price, the dwindling fortune of the naira to dollar, electricity insecurity. One could say it was right. If you are not convinced by submission, what about this old man? This building behind me is where this man we are about to speak with resides. 88 year old, which means it was 27 years when Nigeria got our independence. Senior evangelist Moses Onito walking has been aided by a wheelchair. He says Nigeria's story at 61 is not a sweet one. I'm not happy at all. Look, we are celebrating. I can remember when we got independence in 1940, but in 1960, we were given one month salary advance. That was when, in 1963, when we got um, uh, Republic. We were given one month arrears, um, one month salary advance. But he, now, does not happen. Even our, our real salary was not paid. Our real pension was not paid. How much should say they give us advance? Nigeria is not what it should be if things are going on well. It should be. It has been. It should have been more advanced in anything, because people who got in the independence before, after us, we know where they are now. They are of the opinion that if Nigeria must leave the current situation, conscious effort must be made by all to build a nation around a vision that promotes common good, fairness, equity, and justice. We thank God for life. We thank God that um, Nigeria is still won. We thank God that there is no war. We thank God that people are rising and talking about moving forward. So there's still hope for Nigeria. The cup of Nigeria is half full, not half empty. We need to focus our attention and mind to those positive things that are our country Nigeria. We are undergoing a number of challenges. There's no doubt about that. And every country of organization has some moments that are very challenging, that are very trying. But the resilience of Nigerians as a people and the Nigeria as a country have been validated over and over again. We will get through this. Yes, because we have issues to resolve, to straighten the part of Nigeria. But in terms of assisting as a strong country, I think we are better as a one country. But we need to reconsider our relationship. Devolution of power, what we call restructuring, must take place. 